boys and girls, it's a good morning so far. I didn't want to start recording anything until I knew for sure, but <laughs> yes, long plates for Miley have officially been acquired. Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. Plates acquired, my little stickers acquired. We are set, boys and girls, we are, we're ready. We are officially ready to go. A little bit of a process, but worked out. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let's go. All right, let's get out of here because I don't want to be in this question place longer than I need to. I decided I don't like this place, but we're good. I'm so excited. A few questions that I want to, one of questions about comments that I've seen that I want to address. Uh, number one, Miley does not need any papers for any part on that car because since it's a military car, we don't need to go through the tube for all of our parts and certifications. Now, with that being said though, my car is also tube approved because where I took it to the shop, who did all the work for the car, um, that shop is a tube shop. So my car is tube approved and military approved, so we're good to go. But none of the parts on my car need to be tube approved or have paperwork on them because it's a military car. It's not registered through Germany, so we are officially good to go all right quick stop even though it's cold and rainy like the weather sucks right now but the green car has been doing super good and it's filthy so give her a quick bath like that even though it's raining but still wash up a little bit get all the uh the dirt and bugs off her she's been doing so good lately There we go. Now she's looking much, much better. Look at that, we got clean wheels again, bam. All right, now we can cruise home and put some long plates on Miley. All right, we have waited long enough. It's officially time for the long plates on Miley. Let's get it. Go ahead and get a nice little cold start going. Mind the, uh, the wall there. So for the time being, we're gonna use this plate frame holder on the front of the car to hold the plate, it just snaps in, uh, really easy to do. Later on, I wanna put magnets behind the bumper and then you magnets on my plate, that way I can put the plate on, click, no holes drilled, no plate frame, and then pull it off, it shows, and it's just clean on the front side. And then in the back of the car, we'll do the same thing, plate frame, but this one will be actually screwed into the tub because there's already holes there, and then it shows, I'll pull this entire thing off, and we can run just the Florida plate. Dang, official as ever now i did take off the plate frame holder because i don't know i was having an issue with it staying on the bumper with the tape for some reason so plate the bumper all taped on it's on there like super super sturdy it's not gonna go anywhere but i do want to do the magnet but for now look at that we have long plates the car looks so cool now all right let's get the rear done and have a full set of long plates in the car Official. Yo, that's so cool. Like, that's just so cool. All right, we have one last step, which is this, my little window sticker, and then we're done. All right, that's it. The final step. Stickers on. The car's officially registered with long plates. Oh, it looks so sick. I can't get over that. All right, we're gonna pull her out and get a full look front and rear. Let's see it. We got our rear plate. Dick. Oh, also my diffuser, I forgot about that thing. Sick. And then we got our fancy sticker and our front plate. 100% 
good to go. It looks so good. That's awesome. To think, we went from running this plate back at home, which is like a temporary, like a four day license kind of plate, to having legit German long plates. That's awesome. All right, the car looks great, but we're still missing something. And that something is right over here, AKA Zobbers. So in the process of putting the Zobbers back on, I was about to put on the passenger side one, and I noticed over here, this thing, I don't know if you can see on camera, but, Let's see, hold on. It's very, I don't know if you can see it or not, but like it's extremely flat. So I'm gonna load all the wheels up in the green car real quick, take them to base, fill them all with the air, make sure they're good, and then we'll come back and put them on because I don't wanna put on a flat tire because that's no fun. And speaking of the green car, this car actually might be leaving soon. We just had a guy come, he just left just now, um, came and test drove the car, so he might possibly be taking this car home. So the green car might be coming to an end, guys. The good old green car might be coming to an end. Loaded up, ready to go. I decided I'm gonna bring all of them. Only that one feels low, but might as well do them all while I'm going, so. We are cruising, got the Zobbers looking good back there. I also have the registration for mileage from the gas station. I can get a gas card for my car because how it works here, if you wanna fill up on base, you need a gas card that matches your military ID, that matches the plate number that's on the vehicle. Um, so get all that done, have a gas card for my car because filling up off base is equivalent to about seven or eight dollars a gallon and nobody is trying to pay that much money a gallon for gas because they sell it in liters here so if you convert it's about eight dollars a gallon which is in and i don't know how people here pay for fuel in cars that's why they have little 1.0 1.2 motors here because fuel is so expensive over here so i'm glad i can fill up on base and it comes to about the same price you'd pay in america like three dollars 340 anywhere in that range Pretty much whatever you're paying in the States is what we pay here on the base, which is so much better than trying to spend $8 a gallon because no one's trying to do that. What are the actual odds? That one, out of order. This one, out of order. Come on. All right, well, gas car acquired, so one thing done. Now we're gonna head off base real quick to the gas station, the Ram sign. They have a free air uh, station there. Hopefully it's working. Fill these up and then go back home and put them on. All right, stop number two. That's a really high curb. Look at that. Good grief. But I think this was working, let's check. Lovely, all right, let's fill these things up. We are all set. Nice and full air. I also pulled the wheel out, rolled it around. I didn't see any nails or any debris like inside the tire itself, and I don't hear any air coming out. I don't have any like super wire to put on it to check for bubbles, but um, I think we should be good now. All right, this has taken far too long. Let's go ahead and finish this up. At this point, literally everything I have for this car is back on. Bags, wheels, zobbers, side skirts, diffuser, everything for this car that I have is back on the car. She's 100% where she was and she looks so good. I'm gonna run into town real quick and try and find a gas station that's still open that has the lights on so we can actually see this car because right now it's dark. And I wanna see this car aired out in the light. It looks so good. The long plates look crazy in this car and that diffuser. Oh, I love the diffuser. All right, quick little stop up up here at the um the arrow. Oh. Yes, this thing looks so good now, especially with the diffuser. These lights aren't the brightest ones ever, but that's enough. Look at the plates. So good. All right, new spot, we're at the ESO now that has way better lighting. Oh, that's much better. That's so much better. I love it. We'll get a full walk around. Dude, I love the plates. I can't get over the long plates. That's so sick. I haven't seen this car in the light in a long time. It rains all day long. 
Where's my part at? Ooh, the diffuser. It's so sick. I love that part of the car. Man, that's so awesome. Miley's looking good. Almost rev the car more, but then I realized if it shot a flame, my camera was right there, and that probably would have ended badly. So I'm glad I didn't do that. I still can't believe we have long plates on Miley. That's unreal. All the way from Florida, now here in Germany, officially registered and good to go. Today was a good day. Today was a very good day. Weather sucks, but we got long plates on Miley. I can't complain. If you guys are excited, thumbs up. If you're new, consider subscribing. Don't forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh!